Now, before you start watching this video, I want to state a disclaimer. First of all, I'm not a cryptocurrency trader. I'm not a speculator. All I'm doing is I'm reading stuff online, talking to people, using critical thinking, summarizing all this information, then presenting to you. Okay. I just want you to understand that. So without further ado, the million dollar question is, should I invest in Ripple? Let's, let's first talk about the history of it, what it is. Ripple is simply a private blockchain created by the banks for them to use. They want to go on the blockchain, send value from bank A to bank B. It's that simple. It is a permissioned private blockchain in a nutshell. Okay. It's not very confusing. So the goal for the banks is like any business, they want lower transaction. They want to reduce their overhead and they want to make more profits. And uh, they're trying to do this with Ripple. Okay. A couple of things to take into consideration though, since it is private and they control what goes on and it is centralized. It's not a true distributed decentralized blockchain. It's kind of like a hybrid fake blockchain. They still use blockchain technology, but it is privatized. It's not like Bitcoin or Ethereum. Um, they own 70% of all the coins in circulation, 70%. So any given time they can be like, Oh, inflate the price, deflate the price and do whatever they want to do. Think about that for a second. They own 70%. Remember the banks created this for themselves. Like any business, they, they don't want to go out of business due to cryptocurrencies to summarize. Ripple is a private blockchain for the banks that is centralized that they control more than 70% of all the coins. Okay. That's it in a nutshell. But as of today, Ripple is roughly 17 cents and some people are predicting a dollar in the future. Who knows? But if you look at coin market cap just yesterday or even today, it dropped tremendously. So there was a recent pump and dump. And in fact, there was two major pump and dumps in the past below, and there should be a graph somewhere over here. So there's nothing new in the world of crypto. Every single coin gets pumped and dumped, but take into consideration that this is a private blockchain that is centralized, that the governing bodies who own the centralization of this own 70% of the coin. Just keep that in the back of your mind, please. So a couple of thoughts for me. A lot of people will view this as it's a bad thing in the crypto world. It's a bad thing in the blockchain space, but I really don't view it that way. I actually view this as a learning opportunity because it's really good to have competition. It's really good to have new fresh blood coming in and whether they're reinventing the technology or innovating the technology, they're still implementing certain new ideologies and thought patterns that you can actually learn from. So I always say it's good to have people doing new things or all things in new ways so you can learn from them. Uh, second of all, you just got to put yourself in the bank's position, even though in the blockchain space, obviously we all about having options, having a decentralized distributed ledger, giving power back to the people. If you put your, your feet in their shoes. And what I mean by day is the board members and executives of these major billion dollar banks, obviously they don't want to go out of business. They want to stay in business. So they're trying to be competitive and they're trying to do whatever is necessary to be relevant where technology is going. So I don't get when people say, Oh, this is bullshit. It's a scam. It, it's not, it's simply banks keeping up with the times and using technology to their own good. It's simple as that. Okay. And they're not going anywhere. If people think banks, are disappearing anytime soon. Uh, yeah, I beg to differ on that suggestion. Okay. I do have an interesting theory though. It could possibly be that the banks are trying to take a large position, uh, in the crypto world where they can actually control the ebbs and flows of certain prices, because obviously we all know that with Bitcoin and ether and any of these top five coins, if one drops dramatically, if one drops drastically within 48 hours, it affects everything else. Uh, no different than the stock market. So if a large governing body owns 70% of a coin that's in the top three uh, market cap of coins right now, they have a lot of sway over the other coins when it comes to prices. That's just one theory. It's just top of mind theory. It's, it's almost akin to very competitive nature of banks where they want to have, um, oligarchy over everybody else. So just keep that in mind. So to summarize, should you invest in ripple? Well, it depends on who you are. If you are a speculator and you are a crypto trader and you want to do it a little bit short, you know, you make the call. I'm not going to tell you to invest or not, but if you are an individual that cares about the true nature of blockchain technology, that it should empower people, that it should be a decentralized distributed ledger that is spread across the world, not really owned by anybody that is permissionless as opposed to, as opposed to permission by a select few, then you can determine based on your values, what you want to do. As for me, I hold zero ripple. 
I don't buy Ripple. I am not against Ripple. I understand what they're doing. I understand what the banks are doing and good on them for doing what they got to do to stay relevant in the space. So there you have it. That's my summary of Ripple. Where do you go from here? It's your call. Do your own judgment play. You got to figure out what your ethics are. You got to figure out what your priorities are. And based on your own judgment, based on your investigation, and based on what kind of risk portfolio you have or psychological risk portfolio you have, then you can make your most accurate answer based on that. Okay, guys, like always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below this video. Let me know what you want me to make the next video about. Also, make sure to share this video if you find value. Put it in the forums, wherever that is and make sure to click the like button. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.